Hey everybody, it's PC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And I have been doing a little bit of thought about this thing here, and I kind of want to redesign it. Uh, mainly, I want to try to get better flight control into it. Uh, one thing I would like to have is, uh, of course, a roll. Uh, I've also been thinking about better stabilization too, and uh, weight placement especially. So I thought we'd rebuild it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have very many supplies. Oh, hang on, let me shut this thing off. It likes to fly on its own. Uh, so what I have to do, take this one apart. I have enough for like two air blades. So, oh, that's the wrong button. That's uh, a good thing it's blueprinted, so it's going to take me a moment or two to do this. But I'm basically going to redesign it. I'm going to add a, another pair, set of air blades on it. And then one in the front and one in the back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bind those to be... Um, Pitch, yes. Uh, the words will come to be in a minute. Early morning for me. Anyway, this will take a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I slept the night too. That's why it's raining because it's early morning right now. Uh, I apologize for the live stream on the weekend. I don't know if you can tell. I'm still a little on the sick side. Uh, but uh, definitely going to be doing it next weekend, and uh, I'll make sure to get a notification up for everybody, and we definitely get that pinball machine made. That's something I've wanted to do for a long time, as you can tell, because it's like one of the first projects I've actually done in the game. And I was met with issues, I will say. But anyways, we're going to start with the 3x3 the three three cockpit this time, because I want to have the, the generator on the upper section, and that way so I can keep the center of mass closer towards the middle. Alright, so let's go ahead and fill this in. Uh, let's go for something yellow, just because. All right, maybe yellow even... Maybe we'll color this a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to go with... Uh, because now we got the generator here, I can actually snap to this, so I don't have to put that extra block there either. So it's going to be basically the same setup. Uh, let me grab some blocks here. Number seven. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to have an air blade there. It's going to need one block, another block there, and then the other blade, other blade goes here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a slope here, like I did with the other one. Yes, I totally forgot about that. Uh, there it is. Okay, one there and one there. Now, here's the beauty. We can it's attach to this, so an air blade is going to go right on there. And then when I go on the other side here, yeah, I already thought about this. I thought about trying to make it match a little more like because uh, that's gonna be sticking out a little bit thought about sticking this out a little bit but now I think it's gonna be okay just because it's wider and the gap is a little recessed now this I know is a problem now I could have it down here but I'd rather not now, I'm assuming I oh, know I always say that a lot uh, what's the weight on this 250 and what's the weight on the cockpit 300 uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, of course, it's raining. Uh, so what I think I might do... Grab the 8 again. And I'll rotate, rotate that into place. And... Just something like that. Now, the best thing is, because I don't plan on, playing, plan on adding any other weight to this, uh, you should actually be able to see out the cockpit. Maybe you're flying in first person. But it is raining. I have the other side to finish up. Let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. Except for the front sticks out a little bit more than I'd like to, but eh, we've got to work with the cockpit. But we can actually see out front while we're flying. So that's good. So what I'm going to do before I place the terminal down is I actually want to lower it to the ground. That's always the fun part. Anyway. Uh, we need switchboard. Uh, see, placement is everything on everything. I can't even place anything here because we got the air blade there now. Uh, yeah. So then what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the same thing I did on the back. Well, I can't because I don't have a lower section, so I'll just put one of those there. Do that. And another two. Another air blade. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Let's see here. 
Yeah, they're the same way as the terminals. So then we'll just put the switchboard on the back then. Uh, I'm not going to worry about disabling, ha ha like having a hover mode on or off kind of deal with this. Uh, because all eight aeroplanes are going to be required for flight. Uh, basically, the four in the corners are going to be your standard flight with the stabilization. Uh, the two on the sides in the middle are going to be your, for the pitch and for help with acceleration and deceleration. And uh, the ones in the front and back are, or sorry, the ones on the side are for your roll, the ones in the front are for your pitch. All right, enough rambling. Let's get the terminal on here and let's get this thing airborne. Okay, terminal there, switchboard there. Else, if I don't hit the hit box or something else. All right, and now to wire it up. Fuel it up. There we go. So now, before I configure anything, I want to balance it. So let's just lift her up. I'm sorry, what is going on here? Did I build something to the ground? That doesn't make sense. Uh, let me try something here. Okay, re reloading didn't fix it. But what I think might do it, because I tried on that one there, uh, the other, the green one, the little green machine, uh, that one had issues lifting up too, but I actually rotated it and managed to lift up. Uh, okay, let's uh, get a directional set up here. And see if we just nudge it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that didn't work. So let's uh, get out first before we attempt steering. Okay, steering left, steering right, and... Weird, my hover is not working. Uh, Alright, and I'll bring it back for this and my other idea, which was the first one I was going to do. I'm just going to try to ram it with this thing. I, I don't think it's stuck on the ground. It shouldn't be. Uh, I didn't, the only thing I built on it afterwards was the, the terminal and the switchboard. Actually, did I even... I think I built those after before, after, before I dropped it. Uh, it seems to be stuck on the ground. Yeah. I could use a winch, but no. No, winches are bad. Come on. Yeah, it's stuck in the ground. Somehow it managed to get stuck. I have no idea how, but it did. Uh, you shut off. Uh, hmm. Probably one of the air blades for some reason. Uh, I don't mind putting holes in my front yard. There we go. Don't ask me how. Actually, I, put, I rebuilt that afterwards. I realize now. Okay, well, let me land this thing and uh, bring you back in the day and we'll try it again. Okay. Yeah, so, well. Uh, so I did have to dig a hole in the floor or whatever. Not that big of a deal if you saw my my second season, or actually first season, when they had the big wipe there, you would have seen my area. I actually had to fill holes with ceiling pot tiles everywhere. All right, well, this is all set up now, so now it's just a matter of configure everything. Uh, just got to do one thing here. Hang on. I had to do a yield recording check. All right, so I, since I know that these ones are going to be like that, I've got those set up. These ones... We're going to leave the stabilization off on these. Okay. Now, we power on the system. We've got them all on. Uh, turn this one off. Then we hop in. And... I'll have to get out so we can actually see what we're doing here. 
So the one that's turned off is not that one, no, not that button. Uh, that button. All right, so I want a hover up and a hover down. This could be pitch. So hover up on this is going to be, uh, let's see here. Should we have inverse controls? If you push up, you want, yeah, we'll have number pad eight for hover up and then number, uh, number pad five for hover down. Okay, now that's that one. Uh, get out of here and turn you back on, turn you off. And yeah, I was actually wondering about that. There is no actual renaming in the radio menu. I was hoping it would have been it would have been so much easier. Okay, then hover pad nine is going to be reverse. So since you want the nose going up, you want the tail going down. So t so page hover up is going to be number five. And number eight. I hit my stop recording key by mistake. Okay. And I should probably, uh, you're going to have to deal with the menu for just a second. Okay. I am recording. That is good. All right, so now, if we go into third person here, if I push 8. So it does work. I got that one turned off. Let's, uh, let's turn that on for a second. Let's just give us a test run here. That's because only four of them are actually doing the lift now because since I've got these ones reconfigured. Oh, this is going to be fun. So I have those ones reconfigured. Uh, they're not responding to space and control anymore. All right, so now we get out of here and let's do the sides. Now the sides are going to be doing both the roll and the strafe. So we'll do the right side first. Go into the terminal. And right here. Okay, so strafe left, strafe right. Uh oh yeah, I have to I have to set these ones. I think. Let's find out. Let's try this. Turn left. Turn right. Okay, and let's try that. Yeah, that's not going to work. I think it's going to have to enable steering on it. Actually, I can do that from the control panel if I find the right button on the keyboard. Okay. Okay, and that was reversed. Yeah. And it doesn't actually respond with the W. Yeah, 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 so that's good. So now I can do the same thing with the other one. Actually, we can get this set up for roll too. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so then we go back to the key bindings. We go back to this one here because that's turned off. And then we want. Yeah, what I'm going to do is when you push 7, you roll counterclockwise. When you push 9, you roll clockwise. So when you push. Yeah, so you want the, the right side to go up and the left side to go down. I know what I'm talking about, trust me. Okay, well, I'm gonna, you know what I'm doing, let me get the rest of this done and I'll be right back. Okay, I am done. Uh, I haven't actually tested it yet. Uh, one thing I do want to do, uh, I want to check the center of mass and see how that's doing. It's still low. Uh, I think we'll, we'll give it a shot and see how it works. Shall we? Let's turn build vision off. All right. So control check. Strafe left. Strafe right. Uh, roll left. Roll right. And now that I'm only using two air blades to control it, it's actually uh, not as aggressive. Yes, that's the word we we'll use. And of course, back foot and forward foot. Now, one thing I want to know. Is how the controls are going to respond when you're upside down. Yeah, so the controls are going to be reversed. So that means when you're flying upside down, you have to be pushing backwards. So then that means left will be left, right will be right. Game is not like it. 
Oh, hang on. I got my steering mixed up. Let's let's write myself and fix this. Oh, the camera's gonna have fun with this. I like that. It actually snaps back into its like a position there. Okay, uh what is going what would I do wrong here? Oh uh, yeah. Common mistake. If you ever build anything, any type of vehicle, it doesn't matter if it's air, hover, or wheeled, make sure you pay attention to those arrows. It's hard to see that little arrow head, but yeah, you always want to pay attention to that. All right, so let's do the old rolls again. Let's go back upside down because that's how we were. There we go. Oh, I'm flying backwards. Hang on. Let's flip around. And just for the fun of it, uh, we'll get into the third person, or first person. And it's not very fast because it's getting dragged on these ones here. So you know what I should do? Get out from underneath the craft, for one. Is that gonna. I'm gonna put directional on these. Just because, uh, let's see. Oh. Well, I can put directional on these ones. I can put them on there too, but I don't care. Just getting directional on these will be enough. It's so hard to do this in third person. Okay, that's going the right way. And this is going to be reversed. Okay, let's try that. If I push the right button. It's not very fast, I gotta admit. I'm wondering if it's because the other air blades there. You know what, let me f reconfigure those ones and I'll be back. I think the camera's having issues is what it is. It does like me flying upside down. What do you know? It's a camera thing. So let me, let's let's do something here. Let's do a test. Let's bring her up. We're going to third person. Why am I seeing build vision over there? No, oh, because I still have it on. Okay, we'll fly. We will roll. Oh, we will roll. And we'll continue going forward. And for some reason, now it's forward because I'm inside the cockpit. So when you're flying upside down, you can't fly very fast. That's interesting. I'm wondering if it's because the front and back air blades aren't actually stabilized. And so they think they're still right side up. I don't know. If there's a way to confuse the game, I'd be the one to do it. But look at that. I'm flying over, over my lap. Cool. That actually worked. Uh, get out of here so we can actually get some speed. Let's give this a shot. Let's try the, the pitch. I want to see if the pitch will actually work. No. But it gives you a, a chance to do rolls and flips and yeah. Do the things that you normally don't want to happen. There we go. Complete and full utter flight control. We have all of them. We got our standard forward and back. We got our turning, our, our pit, or not pitch, our yaw. Then we have our strafe, we have our pitch, which is just a fun barrel roll. And here's a challenge for some of you out there. I want you to download this thing, and I want you to build sort of like a, like an obstacle course, a stunt course. And then send it to me on, like you email it to me, or you better just upload it to Steam on the workshop. And I'll download it. If you don't have the workshop, just email me and I'll work something out. But I want to see if somebody can 
create some sort of challenge for me. Oh, that's the wrong button. Especially since I don't know how to fly, like try to do loops to things. But there we go. That is the new flyer. I have absolutely no idea what I was going to call this thing, but we'll just call it a full control. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. What is that? Oh, I know what that is. Remember that ship that was by my base? That's what's left of it. I had to uh, borrow from the neighbors a few times. But anyways, where is my home? Up here. I gotta start cutting down a lot of these trees soon. Surprisingly, I don't have any pink trees. Last season I had pink trees everywhere and it was my goal to go green. And that was to get rid of every single pink tree on my planet. But anyways, I think we're going to call this one here. I thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.